Hey everybody, it is Christmas Day here in Alabama. I'm at my mother's house. I'm actually in her backyard right now and the weather is beautiful. It is, uh, I'm not sure how warm it is, but it's pretty warm. I've got on uh, short sleeves as you can see and uh, the weather couldn't be better. I'd probably prefer some snow. That would seem a little more like Christmas, but we've had a great time. We had a gathering last night and uh, went out to my niece's for breakfast this morning. She had a great breakfast and we got to see her kids uh, playing with all their Santa Claus stuff and that was a lot of fun and then we'll have another gathering tonight but um, I thought I might slip inside and uh, get my mother to tell us a little bit about growing up in the 1930s uh, during the depression and what it was like back then and uh, since a lot of us are talking about the depression days these days hoping we don't have another great depression I thought it'd be a lot of fun to see uh, what it was like growing up in a big family on a farm back in those days so I don't know if I can get her to talk but we'll give it a try. Tell us about, you grew up in the, you were born in the late 20s and grew up in the early 30s uh, during the Great Depression. What was it like during Christmas growing up in the Great Depression? Well, you know, we grew everything we ate. You lived and, on a farm? Yeah. Me and my daddy had a, a farm and a dairy and a grist mill. So you ground the corn for a corn mill? So you made your own cornmeal and you, you had your own cows? Yeah, we had a dairy. He had a dairy. Did you milk the cows? Yes, before we had the electric milkers. <laughs> we did. <laughs> That's no fun job either. Daddy would kill anywhere from 20 to 30 hogs every fall. 30 hogs? Mm hmm. But everybody on the farm, they killed them and salted them down or uh, sometimes they would smoke and then make sausage and put them in the smokehouse put them in, in the smokehouse and anybody on the farm just came and got what they wanted throughout the year yeah. until the next mm -hmm. killing in the mm -hmm. fall you did kill in the fall yeah so what does your brother say about eating chicken now they <laughs> they say <laughs> they got tired of eating chicken so much chicken during the depression Get sick of chicken in the depression. That's mm -hmm. funny. What about at Christmas? Uh, what do you, when you were a child? What do you remember getting for Christmas? I always got a doll, and our sock was filled with fruits and candies. What kind of fruit? Our uncle that lived in Florida always sent us uh, a crate of tangerines and a crate of oranges, and must um, all the pink big grapefruit. Grapefruit. Where did he live in Florida? Tampa. Tampa, Florida? He had a market down there. And Daddy would send him a ham. So they <laughs> traded fruit for ham? <laughs> <laughs> Not really. They yeah, that's just, that was the Christmas presents? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what did you get usually for, for uh, presents? Uh, did you get dolls? And... Yeah, dolls. I got a doll. And, but I just got one. One doll. And my sister, Lina, who was six years younger than me, she'd get a doll too, and she would tear her all to pieces, see if I made its eyes open and close, and I would cry and beg her not to tear up her doll. But she... So you would you would dress yours, and she would tear hers apart. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what would your brothers get? A ball, a bat, and you know things that boys play with, yeah. but just one. Tell them about. Uh, Baloney. Oh God! This the man that one of the farmers that lived on the farm. They all had to cut if they wanted something from the grocery store. They had to come by, and my daddy had to write them an order for it. And this Mr. Martin, he had a house full of children too. He'd get baloney every week, and I thought, oh my gosh, I wish I could live with them because they eat baloney all the time. And of course, we have ham or sausage or you know. Or something like that. So bologna was a luxury. Yeah, it was. When Daddy bought bologna, he would buy three or four sticks, the whole stick. <laughs> for us. That was a treat, bologna. So how did you eat the bologna? Was it just cold fried. or fried? No, they would, my mother would fry it. Fried bologna ate for breakfast or for mm -hmm. or for every meal? All right. Sometimes we'd have it, you know, with vegetables, but mainly for breakfast. Tell us about uh, preparing food for how you had ten children and two parents and what your grandmother lived in the house. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. I guess it did. How, who did all the cooking? My mother and Anoni, a lady that helped her in the house. So you did did all the cooking. Did the children help? When we got old enough, we did. Yeah. We peeled potatoes and and we used to have to churn with a churn. You churn the milk. Mm-hmm. And the butter. 
Yeah. Sunday, there would be three or four girls go home with me, and I, the boys, boys would come home with them. I don't know how my mother fed them, but so, she never said I, we're running short on food. So you had probably uh, maybe 20 people at a time eating sometimes? Yeah. We have one big table? or Yeah, one. Our dining room was a, it was the length of our dining room almost. Can we you... knew what no was if your daddy or mother told you no when you asked them something. You didn't say why like children do today. It what, was no. What happened if you said no? <laughs> or why? I said no. And that, and he said in a tone of voice that you knew if you said it, if you said ask him again, he would, would he had a razor strap that he whipped with. My mother would switch our legs if she, when she corrected us, if I had What's the uh, first car you ever remember seeing? My granddaddy, Holder, had a, a car, and uh, he, he wanted my daddy to drive him all the time if he had to go to Scott's Bar, go to Chattanooga. They went to Chattanooga to the doctors. And when he died, he left my daddy that car, and that was the first car we had. But you didn't have a car or a truck before that? Mm -mm. What, did you use a mule and wagon? Mules and wagon. So if you went to church on Sunday, you took the mule and wagon? Yeah. And had all all of you in there, ten kids? And never, and... never. I don't ever us, remember us being late for church, uh, for Sunday school and church on Sunday. So you get dressed up and uh, get in that wagon and go to church? Mm -hmm. Because she would, in the summer, after she, she'd get us a bath or get us dressed, she'd set us out on the porch. What about electricity? Did you have electricity growing up? I remember when they put the electrical lines by our house, right before TVA took that, where the Mud Creek restaurant is now. So what you what you think what you think when you saw electricity the first time? Oh, that was wonderful. <laughs> And what, when you got electricity, what did you have? Just a light, or what did you get? What oh, did, we had everything and got an electric refrigerator. See, we'd been using a, an ice box. The ice was a big old thing, and I kept the ice up on top. What about the first time you saw a radio? Or did you always have a radio? Or? No, I remember when my brothers used to go to a neighbor's to listen to the fights and the ball games. I never did, but they did when we lived where... What quick restaurant is now? What about the uh, first time you saw a uh, TV? Mm. Don't remember? Yeah, well, I, I had heard so much talk about it. What about, did they have paved roads back then? Or was it, I guess, when you're no, on I a wagon, it was when all... No, we got paved roads. But before that, it was all dirt roads, right? Yeah. So did you work on the farm? I worked some. <clears throat> I, I picked cotton. How much cotton could you pick in a day? The most I ever picked was 312 pounds in one day. 312 pounds. How many? How much did most men pick in a day? Around 200. So you outpick most men. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but that's the only time. I was nearly dead the next day. Did you get paid? No. We, well, my daddy would have 60 and 80 bales of cotton a year. So wh and why after were you? We got through. Then you could go pick for the neighbor, and you could keep that money. So why were you trying so hard to pick so much? I just wanted to see how much I could pick. You were just trying to outpick everybody. And you... No, I just <laughs> wanted to see. I'd heard people say how much they could pick, and I just never had to try. So did you pick the most that day? Yeah. Were they surprised? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you didn't get anything for it. Mm -mm. <laughs> Pat on the back. Huh? <laughs> got to eat supper. <laughs> yeah. If I didn't eat lunch that day, I ate breakfast, but I didn't stop for lunch. <laughs> and still going strong like that today? No, I don't. Did you ever uh, have to go out and wring a chicken's neck for lunch? Yes. Yes. How do you wring a chicken's neck? <laughs> <laughs> what does a chicken do then? <laughs> He'd squawk a time or two, but not very long. Then you'd, you'd pluck it clean, get it ready to eat? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh goodness. Yeah, I don't know what hard times are. But we didn't think they were hard times. That's all you knew, right? That's all we knew. <laughs> think we could all make it through a second Great Depression? I don't know. <laughs> you know, I do think about that. We've gotten spoiled, haven't we?
Yeah.